Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today is just a cautionary tale of something I've experienced in the past week, especially around cryptocurrency and applying for a mortgage. If it doesn't apply to you, just make sure you give the video a thumbs up anyway and you can always skip off to something else. But if you are interested in cryptocurrency, you have any holdings in that and you are looking to get a mortgage in the next, say six months or two years, it's a very good while to stay to the end and making sure you take notes and make sure your portfolio is in a good position. So this will come down to, as we're going through, my partner's buying another property and applying for a mortgage. It was all in greed in principle, no issues there at all. All the funds are in her account ready to go to start paying for all of the, the deposit. And it just come down to them checking through additional bank statements for any anti-money laundering. And then this all stems from people not wanting to see any additional gifts come into the account or any money that might come from any illegal activities, which in this case, none of it has. But what happened was over a year ago when we started looking at this process, uh, my partner had some money in crypto.com. It was purely money that moved from her personal account into stable coins and it was being staked to get a much better interest rate, paying at 12% of the time and just had it there for sort of six months, got a good return on the money and then moved the money back into her own personal account. So all of these source of the funds could be truly legitimate and actually tracked. But because the actual uh, solicitors saw that there was a payment from a kind of a known crypto company, they basically said, no, no way can we put this forward and you have to go through getting money from somewhere else. Now that is even with actual the mortgage company that we're applying through, they do not have an issue with funds coming from cryptocurrency, but you cannot pay in crypto assets. So you can't pay for anything in Bitcoin as an example. But if you've made profits from sale of those and they're in your account, they have no issue. But unfortunately, it's the solicitors who had the problem and they just blanketly stopped it there. So there was a workaround. It wasn't that difficult. I just had to gift the money in and sign again. It came from legitimate sources of funds, which I could prove. And therefore, we can move on and not a problem at all. But if you are thinking of any house loans or even potentially car loans in the future, and if they do want to do any anti-money laundering checks or see where funds have come from, then that proving that these source of funds is going to be very difficult for a lot of people. It could be that you've had multiple wallets or moved money around and they're just not going to accept it. Now, as we know, cryptocurrency is still being the wild west and until the governments actually catch up, I think they will do eventually because I want to start actually taxing people on the profits. And at the moment, it's very difficult to actually go through that route. And also a lot of people are saving money in cryptocurrencies and just sort of gaining their assets as we go through. But I think once they're actually more legitimate, they will tax you on those. You have to declare those in any self-assessment forms or any end of year tax returns and they want to see you pay that money. Now luckily we've managed to work around this situation, but for me personally, if I was to take another mortgage out in the next one to two years, as this is now my main source of income from trading, I take a lot of my payments from prop firms in Bitcoin. I like the ability to actually put it into a wallet, to not have to declare it through other routes, and take that sort of almost risk that the actual, that asset will gain over a period of time as well. So I'm actually building a big crypto portfolio as well as passive income and payments from that. So it's gonna be very difficult for me to ever apply for another mortgage, which I hopefully won't have to, but you never know what the future holds. So again, just a cautionary tale for anyone out there who's looking to do any cryptocurrency as well as mortgages. When you are applying, let your broker or your mortgage companies know straight away that you have crypto funds and that's where some of the sources are gonna come from. They can work around that and hopefully make sure there's no issues in any application processes. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll catch you again soon. Cheers.